this week's review. I am one of your hosts, Prue, and joining me is Mr. Body Mango. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well tonight, sir. Uh, so you said that there's a, a bit of weather, surprisingly. Yeah, there. again. You know, the Minnesota thing is to talk about weather, so it's, you know, before we start recording, I always update you with how our weather is. Yeah. So, yeah, so severe said- storms, they're past. We oh, they're past. a double okay. rainbow. Oh, and, did you really? Uh, the sky okay. was red. Bright red. I think there's an old wives tale about that something about sky right red sky at night sailors delight yes that's what it is yep red sky in the morning sailors be warned sailors, or take, like sailors take warning yes okay yep, so I, I, I guess you're I'm okay. old that's that's when i was on my sailing vessels back in the olden days <laughs> Welcome to Monster back in the day. Jam steel <laughs> um, <laughs> so we didn't actually play a, a sailing game did we? no we didn't um, we played monster jam steel titans now, let's focus on the it was basics. developed by rainbow studios and then published by thq nordic who is publishing a lot of games kind of like the old thq um, it is currently retailing for 39.99 but it is available on disc and digital Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a physical version. That's interesting. Okay. Um, so uh, let me ask you, because I know that you are, um, in g- in general, a fan of vehicular sporting. Yes, yes. Um, um, but you, I'm, to I'm not a fan of truck monster trucks, zone. which is okay. kind of weird. I love cars. I'm a big-time car guy. Okay. Um, but I am not into monster trucks. Although I was watching it the other day um, on TV kind of watching how they did it. I, I don't understand how they do. They do like a point system and all sorts of weird things. So this game kind of gets into what it's like to drive monster trucks. Um, now, this is the sixth? No, fifth Monster Jam game that's available either on Xbox or Xbox 360. And I will say it's probably the longest of them all. Okay. Have you played all of the other ones, or at least I've some? played all of the other ones? Okay. Um, okay. The, the now, original one, which is just Monster Jam, um, is probably one of the second most difficult. Um, Are they all retail is, games? Uh, they were all. There's not all retail games. Um, actually, I don't know if Monster Jam Crush it was. That was the one that predates this on the Xbox One. I think that was download only as well. Uh, double check in. Yeah, that was no. Nope, that was on disc too. So this is the second one on the one that's actually on disc. Okay. As well I, as uh, download. I feel like, like okay, interesting. Okay, um, so you've played them all. Um, yep. you're, you're coming at this from a very, very different place than I am, and, and we'll get into that, I'm sure. But how did you feel about I think, whatever? I think this one's the most complex. It has the most to offer in the game. There's collectibles. Uh, the controls are definitely more um, realistic. They are all. They've always been kind of arcadey. Monster Jam Crush It was extremely arcadey. Monster Jam Battlegrounds. Arcadey. Um, Monster Jam Battlegrounds is more like. Um, uh, no, I can't. I'm blanking. The game where you're on the motorcycle uh, and you can't. Like you Road can't Rash? Fall off. No, 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 no. Like the 2D, 2D, 3D kind of game where you're riding along and you have to get through the path and get to the checkpoint at the end. I don't think I know. Oh! oh like Local Cycle? Is that what you're talking about? No. No, 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 um, no, no, no. No. Um, no, 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 I think you're talking about but I can't remember the name now. Um, okay. But it's, well, it's basically the same thing where if you... The Monster Jam Battlegrounds is one where you fought, if you die, you can just you restart and play again and play again and play again. It's the same thing as the, the motorcycle game, and I know the chin's probably going, you guys are idiots again for not remembering the name of the game. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's like that. Um, this one is more of a... It has races, and then it also has the... It actually has kind of more of an adventure thing, which the other games didn't have where you have a free play where you can go get collectibles and unlock more of the free play area. The other games didn't have that. You're the other games great. were, uh, like the original one, you're in an arena. Second one, you're in an arena. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. So, yeah, yeah. so this one has like a, uh, and again, I so I don't really right. play now racing games, and I guess I, you race. might qualify at least part of this game as a racing game. Yeah, I, I would put this one as close to being like Forza Horizon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what it's like with monster trucks. That's kind of the the sense that I get, even though I have never played a, a Forza game. But there's like an open world area that you can kind of just drive around in. Correct. Um, and then you know you can upgrade your stuff and stuff. Um, this is I, I you know I'll just full disclaimer I'm not a racing game fan in even the tiniest amount, so it's going to be very difficult for me to be super unbiased. But I'll try my best <laughs> um, because it's it was terribly boring. Uh, 
I don't know if that's the case in general, but it was just uh, just racing around tracks. Uh, it is a pretty game, I'll say that. Yeah, it's not ugly. And I think the free play area where you can kind of roam around a little bit, I think that's a little bit more interesting. But me as well, having played a lot of racing games and doing racing stuff for real, even I was getting bored. It's just very repetitive, kind of boring. The jumps are meh. So I was actually so I I didn't know what to expect because I've never played a monster truck game before. But the first time I came up to a line of cars that presumably you're supposed to crush in your monster jam, you're supposed to jam them with your monster yeah. truck. Uh, there was no like physics or like like no. you just you run over them. There, there's a, nothing happens to yeah, the yeah. cars and, themselves. And actually, back so me being I'm gonna age myself here. Back in the olden days, before Monster Jam became a brand. You had there's trucks like Bigfoot, and then Gravedigger came around, and there's a couple other ones. <laughs> um, that's when the crushing cars was the big thing, like jump up and crush the cars and smash the cars and all this stuff. Monster Jam now is all about like flipping the trucks and bouncing the trucks on their tires and spinning the trucks around on, on their side and doing backflips and all sorts of stuff. The cars like they don't really do anything anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is you okay, so that's so you're saying that's more of like a trend, a I guess. Jam. Like, yeah, it's yeah, interesting. The, okay. yeah, it's totally changed because that's what I was saying when I was I was on TV. I, I was at a restaurant, I was on TV, and I was like, wow, it, this is totally not how big, like, how trucks like that, monster <laughs> trucks were like. They're totally different now. I think I do vaguely remember Bigfoot, the, the monster truck from, from my uh, a long forgotten youth, but it's um. Yeah, which is not exciting. I think so. There's races that you do, which yep. are fine, I guess, especially because some of the races allow you to just kind of off road wherever you want, so you can kind of make your own. Uh, you can make your track own path. Path, I guess. Yeah, is what you'd say. but yeah, did you notice if you hit something that's not in the direct way you're supposed to go, you go flying off a million miles in the uh, wrong direction? The physics are so wonky in this game. Like sometimes you can go over jump. Like and perfectly execute this flawless flip or whatever. Sometimes you'll hit the tiniest mound, and your truck will just flop for feels like thirty seconds. It's the, the physics feel really wonky in the game and not consistent in a way that I would think or expect in something like this, where you will, you would want them to be consistent because it's part of what the game is, the core of the game. You know. Yeah, that's where it gets kind of um, like arcadey, where the it, it's it's the most simulation type version of all these Monster Jam games, but it gets that's where the physics the physics are still kind of arcadey and goofy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it does feel like it's trying to take itself seriously, but it's got a lot of holdovers f from that from that genre. So it's like, uh, yeah, the, the the more arcadey to me, the at least the more enjoyable it is. This there is some silly fun to be had with the physics, but if I'm trying to race all these other trucks and I hit like a bush and go flying. I'm like, I get just instantly infuriated and I'm like, Oh my God. No, I'm not and, and that's what, and that's what I'll do it. A bush will make you go flying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just Phew. So there's, there's a, a different, no yeah, there's a, di there's a few different type of events. You can do There's races and um, like, like score attack, I guess you'd kind of call it where you do tr tricks and stuff, but Again, it feels the physics are, are too inconsistent to be fun in a lot of ways. I, I don't know. Again, not, I'm not trying to put my bias out there, but it's just this game was felt like more of a chore to get everything done than fun. I'll agree. And uh, my kids were watching me play one of the times, and they were kind of like, this is kind of boring. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it is. You really, I mean, to, I, I think maybe if you were really into um, being excited about monster trucks you might care a little bit more but yeah i am not one of those people yeah yeah <laughs> if you're into monster trucks it seems like a pretty good game I, I i would think that it would be pretty decent um like i said it was it's really pretty but honestly and this is a, a, a minor gripe but i did want to bring it up i felt like it had the longest load times of any yeah, game they were i think i really played long. on I agree. xbox one it was insane i don't know why yeah because i will agree because like the um, the trucks are really really nicely modeled, um, but the the environment's good. It's decent, but it's like it's not the most amazing mind blowing game. But no, uh, whatever, 
That's fine. That's fine. Let's talk about the achievements. What do we? What's the deal with the All achievements? All right. So achievements. Well, there's there's a little bit of everything. One, most of them are for getting third or better in a series of the races, and I think that there's each series is ten races, from what I experienced. Um, there's some for upgrading the truck, um, some for doing a wheelie or doing certain tricks for a certain amount of time. And then there's one for getting um, all the collectibles, which there are 50 collectibles to get in the free roam section. As well as unlocking trucks and some of that. In terms of how long it would take to play the game, I there's 336 track gamers of this as of this recording. Only seven have completed it. So it's a little bit of a longer game. Maybe people are getting bored, like kind of we did. Yeah. It definitely felt doable. But I didn't stick around long enough to get a, a really accurate sense of how long it would take. If I had to just guesstimate, I would say probably like, like maybe 20 hours. Maybe yeah, and like I that. I actually looked to see, according to the tracker and the people that have finished it, they're about 20, between 18 and 22. Okay. Roughly. Yeah, that, so. that, that seems to fit. It doesn't seem impossible, like maybe frustrating in some parts. It's a um, 2.6 ratio, so it's it's not crazy high, but it's it, it's I think it's more of a will you stick with it sort of game and yeah. if, and if it's your jam and you're having a great time you're gonna i think it's definitely doable it's just well, it's gonna take a lot of time to put into comparison to other than the very first game all the other games you could probably finish in the same amount of time when we do this one. <laughs> oh, just this one okay Interesting. yeah just to get right. an idea yeah so um you know it's not terrible and if monster my monster trucks are your thing maybe it's uh, 40 40 bucks to me seems a little, a little excessive, but it, it definitely has pretty high production value, I'd say. Yeah, it does, but it would be one of those things in there. I mean, wait for a sale. Um, yeah, if you really want to wait, you could get the disc probably really cheap on at retail. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's 40 bucks. That's a lot. That's a <laughs> lot of asking price, especially for a game which feels really niche. Yeah. Like it, super it, niche. Way more, way, way more niche than a lot of other games like this that are out there. I mean... My, it's monster. This is like catering to the same crowd that likes WWE. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, I kind of feel the same I mean, way. It, it, it really kind of is. I mean, mm -hmm. not, nothing to knock against like L or anything like that because he loves WWE, but it's it's kind of like that. Right. I think just a little bit more niche. So monster trucks. What you're saying, what you are saying, and we can put this in quotes under your name, is that monster m monster truck driving. Is the WWE of racing, or yes, for this game at least? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. A hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I I don't disagree. So uh, uh, okay, that was uh, Monster Jam Steel Titans. Check it out if you're really big into it, or if it's on a super deep discount.